Tyrannosaurids dominate the Northern Hemisphere, large species from the US, China, and Mongolia. But Russia also had a large theropod, and possibly the largest theropod, hidden from the world since 1949. A new giant species of Zuchan Tyrannus has been described. The Ajukan Formation had similar flora and fauna to the Hell Creek Formation. Even the climates were similar. And now, we have a large Tyrannosaurid to fill in the apex predator role. But not just one Tyrannosaurid, possibly three new species, or growth of one species. Now let's get started. Now this specimen is ANHM1-1098, known for a left toe bone, while being the smallest specimen, it is still larger than a female hippo. Now, this could be a separate species of Tyrannosaurid, like a Nanotyrannus or a juvenile of the larger specimens. This could fill in the medium predator role staying out of competition from the smaller troodontids, raptors, and the larger tyrannosaurids. Now this specimen is known for three caudal vertebrae, around 10 meters and 4.8 to 5 tons, the weight of an African bush elephant, even around the weight but shorter in length than Tarbosaurus. Another Tyrannosaurid that lived at the same time and continent. This may be an adolescent or a subadult of the larger specimen, but this elephant sized specimen is nothing compared to this larger one upcoming. Specimen ANHM 1 1099 has a fragmented tooth crown measuring 13 centimeters tall and a wrist bone larger than the wrist bone in Sue the T-Rex. But these are known to change for individual variations in theropods. So aren't reliable, but using them for scale, using Tarbosaurus, it would be 11.3 and 7 tons. But using Zuchen Tyrannus, it would be less than 10 tons. But scaling it to to Tyrannosaurus rex, it weighs more than 10 tons, making it one of the largest land predators, larger than Giganotosaurus, Spinosaurus, and Mapusaurus, around the same size as the adult Tyrannosaurus and Zuchen Tyrannus. And the one sauropod called Arcahavia in the Hudakucha formation is actually smaller than a Tyrannosaurid predator. The first time we've ever seen the theropod be the largest animal in its environment. Now the similarities of the Hell Creek Formation and the Uja Chukan Formation is called the Bering Land Bridge Interchange, when fauna and flora travel from Asia to America and vice versa. We can see this in Hell Creek, Uj Chukan, and the Nemegd Formation. We can also see this in modern day. Example, the Chinese alligator and the American alligator. Both Russian and American formations have troodontids, ankylosaurids, dromaeosaurids, hadrosaurids, and now we know tyrannosaurids. Now, you may remember I said it's a Zuchen Tyrannus species. It resembles T. rex and Tarbosaurus, but it especially represents Zuchen Tyrannus. I think we should be conservative and say it's, it's a Zuchen Tyrannus species and not a whole new genus. But these specimens have been nicknamed the Resno. Dracon, Russian for the Carnage Dragon, 
I suggest the name Zuzen Tyrannus Rathena, meaning Zuzen Tyrant of Russia. But we may even have to name the other specimens if they are their own species. Paleontology has evolved so much in the past decade. If you ask someone 10 years ago, name all Tyrannosaurids that have been found over 8,000 kilograms, they probably could only say Tyrannosaurus rex. But now we know Tyrannosaurus macriensis, Zhujan Tyrannus, and now Resno e Dracon. This, these three specimens could have three different species or two of them are juveniles of the largest one. I'm willing to believe the second and third specimens are the same species, one being an adolescent and the other one being an adult, because it's not unheard of to have one or two species of Tyrannosaurus in an ecosystem, while three species is unheard of. This shows how widespread large Tyrannosaurs were. Tyrannosaurus rex Tyrannosaurus macriensis, Tarbosaurus bitar, Zugen tyrannus magnus, and Resnodracon, showing how successful this family is. In North America, Asia, and possibly even Australia, meaning they could have spread to the Southern Hemisphere. But that's a topic for another video. My next video will be on a giant Spinosaurus specimen, possibly larger than T. rex. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more paleontology news.